I'm Duncan and this is a roundup of 2014. With the exception of the interview which I'm going to do another video on next week once the dust has settled, 2014 has been a completely unremarkable year for films. Uh, blockbusters have continued to dominate. As the price now averages around $200 million for each film, they've been dominated by sequels, prequels, reboots and reimaginings, with Christopher Nolan's epic Interstellar being the sole exception to that rule. It's also been a bad year for um, female actresses. Apparently takings are so thin for good actresses that the Academy is struggling um, to find female roles to, to nominate, with leading to rumours that Rosamund Pike may get a nod for her role in Gone Girl. And while this was a great turn, I'm not quite sure it was Oscar worthy, as Rosamund Pike has always seemed slightly creepy to me. Um, it's been a slightly better year for uh, 15 and 18 rated films, with Fury and Gone Girl itself uh, providing huge hits at the box office, leading to some hope that people might be starting to turn their back on 12 A's. However, since Sin City A Dame to Kill For made back less than half its budget in the cinema, I wouldn't hold my breath. Um, it's also been a slightly better year for those of us who prefer practical effects, with films such as Captain America The Winter Soldier relying heavily on them and restricting its use of CGI. Whilst I don't predict the CGI field film to go away, I would like to see more directors returning to a practical effect style, as I think that looks better on film. Um, that's kind of about it for 2014. Next year um, is the biggest year for prequels and sequels in history. Every single blockbuster the next year is going to be based on a series or a franchise. Um, smaller films which you need to see, you need to support these films, um, they're just going to get smaller budgets and become more niche. Um, with that said though, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all of us here at Duncan's Dunkings.